Hi, my name is Kryn Chaney. Welcome to my DIY Creations channel. I'm a creator with Magnolia Design and today I'm going to show you one of our designs using a 12 by 18 frame and a Christmas tree stencil. That's right here. Um, I already started trying to take it off and forgot to write on the back. That's why it's looking like this. So what you need to do before you take off the stencil because there's two different sides um, and you want it to make sure you put it on the right side. The correct side, I'm just going to write up here, Christmas tree. So I know to put it back on the correct side. And since we're doing it on a hard surface, we need to fuzz our stencil. Otherwise, it, we will not be able to pull it back off. This is a fuzzing and drying cloth. We have here that's nice and big. Pull that off nice and carefully from the middle. Make sure it doesn't get stuck on itself. So we're just gonna give it a nice good rub here a few times. And on this side. If you're doing a project on fabric or canvas, you don't need to fuzz it, even for the first time, since it's fabric. So that should be good. Move the fuzz cloth out of the way. And bring this back up. And we're gonna, it, should, it fits in here just nice and neatly. Let's see, there we go. Center it a tiny bit. I want to give it a good. I have this little tool here that I like to use just to make sure it's all nice and flat. You don't want any bubbles. If you have any bubbles, then uh, the, the paste will bleed through and then your project's not as nice. There we go. And for this project today, what I have done is I have taken our coal black chalk paste and I have mixed it with a glittering gold. We do have a glittering black, but I don't have it on hand. So I just kind of made up my own. And we're also going to use glittering red for the word Christmas down here. So let's start crafting. There. You just take a nice good glob and you don't want too much pressure because you don't want it to bleed through. And just go wherever you see the white. The stencils, if you take good care of them, can be used many, many times over on all different kinds of things. I can also, if I wanted to, I could do this on like a banner to hang up. So it doesn't just have to be a, a board. If I wanted to do it, if I wanted to put it on a project and redo it, I could put it on a chalkboard and use the chalkboard for different times of the season. Alrighty, and the word tree, and O, and get those out of the way. Now we'll do the, I think I left a bubble in there, and I think I see a couple, we'll go back over that actually, I see some white, we just want to make sure we get that covered. Okay, and remember you want it to be gentle or it could bleed through. And 
and we'll get red on the Christmas. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll take it off gently and I'll put it in a bucket of water and, um, or I can take it directly to the sink, but I'm gonna show you another project after this one, so I'll wash it later. And just go ahead and scrape up. You can save a lot by just scraping it back up. There we go. The lid back on. And we will make sure there's no ink on my hands. And gently lift. Start it from the side, but you want to pull it from the middle to keep it from stretching too much. Ooh, that looks nice. Looks like I pushed a little too hard on the red or didn't make sure it was down all the way. And there we have it. Oh, yep, I have a little bit of a bubble. That's okay. Let's see if we can clean it up a tiny bit. This is why we need to make sure the stencil is all the way down and I did not do that properly but I'm still very happy with it. And there we go. Next and I'm going to let that dry and then I will seal it. Next I'm going to show you um, and the other stencils we have for Christmas. Make sure I get all the stuff off my hands. I, I have already prepped the onesies, so you um, put the stencils on them. And so you also be able to tell that you don't need to use the whole stencil if you don't want to. I decided since this is gonna be a onesie for a little, for a baby, that the whole stencil would not fit on there if the with the pants or whatever so what I just did is I took one of these little measuring things and put it at the top of the neck you have I we have those for all you have ones for youth adults and toddler t-shirts. You can get them on the Magnolia site as well. And I just measured down from the center line so I could get my picture all lined up. So now we need to choose the colors. I think I'm going to do the bear in a light brown. And just skates in blue. So with, with fabric and cloth, we use chalk ink, not paste. Let's see, we have our silver and I think I will do his scarf in a darker blue. In, okay, there we go. So we're going to use different tools here so we don't get other things messed up. <clears throat> I'm going to do his hat <clears throat> in, I believe this is tur yeah, regular turquoise. And so I don't get it around the bear. I'm going to be very gentle. 
use, we have like painting sticks. They're great, there's rubber edges. You get them, they're just like you could paint brushes with different kinds of edges on them. And then we're just gonna go, I'm just trying to make sure I don't get any where I want the bear to be. So we're just gonna go on this gentle. You can also cut your squeegees up, but I decided to use this tool instead. So if you can see what I'm doing here. Gentle. Okay, his hat and now his scarf. Okay. Let's get in here gently. You want to cover up anything that's white. That's where the screen print is. So for the ink to go through. up okay and now we'll do the bear and I'll do him I'll do yep let me see some white up there there we go okay I'll use this tip just to get him up here just around the ears and the hat. And there we go. And a little bit here. And we're gonna go next to the skates. Make sure we get that white covered up. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want it to bleed. So you just do it as gentle as you can. If you're interested in any of the things you see today, please um, put, it in, put it in the comments and I can show you, I can let you know where to get the different stencils. I don't know if the Christmas one is still available. It was from last year. Take your time, but you also don't want to go too slow because you don't want the paint, the chalk paste, sorry, to dry. Um, you don't want it to dry on the stencil. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the stencil again. I can use this stencil many more times if I want. The next stencil I will be doing, actually, I've used about three or four times already. These are great gifts for people you know who have little babies or little kids. You can do these for little kids. Get the excess off again. Make sure that spot's covered. Okay. I don't want to press too hard. You don't want it to bleed through. And now I am going to use Vivid Cerulean Ink. Use 
the same thing. I'll clean off this brush again, just for the top part. If you want to, you can do these in one solid color. I've just chosen not to do it in one solid color. I chose to make it multiple colors. Come on. I'll be posting a video at least once a week. Um, I, I plan on going live at some point. I just haven't been able to do that yet. Um, if you are interested in joining me on a live, please like and subscribe and I will keep you updated and click the little bell for notifications so you know when I'm on. Okay. We're gonna do silver for that part. This, this might, this ink of mine is a little old, so it's not going on as smooth as it usually does. You need to take care of your inks and your pastes. Keep them wet. You don't want them sitting forever on a shelf. Just like paints, they will dry up. I just want to be careful and not get that part done and we're almost done and I can show you the outcome of this cute little guy. Okay, now we'll do silver for the blades. In that little nook and cranny up there. Also, if you want to be more careful, I have done other projects where I've taped off other parts so not to get the paste where I don't want it to go or the, or the ink. done here. All right, and just like the last one, I want to make sure there's, I need to clean my hands off. Otherwise, I can get ink or paste on the rest of the shirt, and that would not be a, a good thing to do. So, my fingers clean. Yes, oh, there we go. And same thing as before, just pull it up nice and gentle in the middle and we're gonna check and make sure it's all down. And there we go. Put that, out. Put that in my water. I'll wash it later. Let me make sure I have no ink on my hands and I will show you the finished little guy. And here's our little onesie, our little snow bear. <laughs> 
Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.